everybody. My name is Matthew Crown, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new tool for open and fair metadata annotation in environmental microbiome research, OMINFO. I'm part of the Microbial Environments Group in the Hub for Biotechnology in the Built Environment, and I have a particular interest in exploring the ways that our built environment shapes the indoor microbiome and also our host microbiome. Specific microbiome signatures have been linked to a number of different environmental characteristics, which can have both positive and negative impacts on human health. For example, living in rural areas and with rural microbiomes has been shown to decrease risk of developing asthma in children and has shown benefits to adults moving to rural locations as well. Small particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide have been shown to negatively impact our skin microbiota. And greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, have been shown to alter the rhizosphere soil microbiome. In addition to this, locations have been shown to be classifiable to a high accuracy at a city level based purely on their microbiome compositions. It's clear then that global scale environmental characteristics like greenhouse gas concentrations, rurality and location play a role in shaping the built environment microbiome. But these measurements are not necessarily consistent worldwide. Take, for example, rurality. Shown here are definitions from Statistics Netherlands, used in one of the papers I showed on the previous slides, and a measure of rurality in the US by the Department of Agriculture. There are significant differences between these two definitions of rurality, and this problem exists around the world, where what one country may describe as urban may be rural in another much larger country. We might think that's okay, as we can just share the next the location a sample was taken from, and researchers can use this information to understand relative to their own data what a sample's context is. However, sharing an appropriate level of accuracy for location data, retaining useful information without being so accurate as to identify an individual house, which is personally identifiable, is difficult, and oftentimes ethical agreements will prohibit sharing this information. At a global scale, there are a variety of different resources available, which can richly annotate the location with measures including the aforementioned rurality, nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, and many, many more, through the use of data derived from satellites, for example, Copernicus Sentinel, GOSAT, or Aura. This information is frequently used in the geographic information systems fields. However, it requires a good understanding of the underlying data structures, for example, map projections, scaling factors, raster bands, and specific softwares to probe the pixels in an image, on top of which these data files can often be very large, into the order of terabytes in the biggest cases. This makes utilizing such information difficult for microbiome researchers and bioinformaticians without a good knowledge of where to find this data and how to properly use it. So, the problem is, we need to find a way to enable researchers in the life sciences field, including bioinformaticians and wet lab scientists, to be able to easily annotate their location data for samples with a rich set of globally consistent geographic feature annotations in order to derive new insights from the omics data that might be produced to better understand the role the environment is playing in shaping things like the built environment microbiome. This is where OMINFO comes in. OMINFO makes it easy to annotate location data with geographical data from a number of sources, currently covering carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, rurality, Kopp and Geiger climate classification, and population density. OMINFO operates through the use of a dockerized web app to which a CSV file containing sample metadata, including latitude and longitude, is uploaded. To minimize data transfer and avoid the need to download multiple large GeoTIFF files, the files are stored in cloud GeoTIFF format in an AWS bucket. These cloud GeoTIFF files are queried for a particular tile or subset of the data, which is returned, can be used to obtain information on a specific location within the tile. In this way, location data is not shared with the remote server allowing OMINFO to be private and secure. The derived geographical information is then served to users through a dashboard, allowing investigation of the data distribution for every feature through histograms, bar plots, but also on an interactive map. The underlying data sets used in OMINFO are maintained in a version data set, which can be downloaded from the S3 bucket, should users wish to make use of this for their own investigations. And the annotated data can be downloaded in CSV format to be utilized in downstream investigations. Finally, users are able to download a bibtext file containing citations for all of the data that is used to generate metadata in OMINFO, as well as the OMINFO tool. Thank you for listening, and thanks to the organizers for the opportunity to speak.
You can check out Ohm Info through the QR code or search for it on GitHub. And finally, there's a GIF playing here of uh, uploading data to Ohm Info and what you might be able to see from the outputs. Thank you.